Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate Font Awesome into your Divi website. So Font Awesome is it's a it's a icon font and basically it's hosted on a server and you can pull in those font icons into your website and display them and style and things like that. So there's a whole ton of free ones. It's like over 1500 free ones and then they have a bunch of paid ones. But what you need to do to install in Divi is you need to sign up and then um, they send you a code and you got to put it into Divi. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial and this is going to be kind of a launch pad for some more tutorials coming up. So please watch out for a couple of those. Some of those are going to be kind of interesting. So let's get started on this first and then kind of have this as a base for adding font awesome icons to Divi. So we're going to have some tutorials coming up where we're going to be adding icons to places in Divi like our menu and um, to the social media module. We're going to add like, you know, 50 icons there. It's going to be epic. Uh, but we're going to we're going to need to have um, Font Awesome installed before we can get to them. So that's why I'm kind of throwing this tutorial in there now because we're going to need to reference back to this. Like if, if a beginner um, who hasn't done this before um, needs to follow that tutorial we can link back to this one but we're going to show you two ways um, actually one way the the one way is with the plugin font awesome by font awesome i haven't used that right now um, i'm sure that works fine i'm going to show you the manual way um, the new way that font awesome um, has to do it. it used to be that you could just come here and copy a, a, a link and put it in it in divi but now we actually have to um, come here and get through the process. So let's click start for free. We're on fontawesome.com. Okay, so here we are at fontawesome.com slash start. And it's asking for our email. So um, when we put in our email, then it will then it will be able to get the code that we need. So let's go ahead and type in our email. And then click on send kit code. All right, so now it's telling me go check my email. Um, and we have to confirm, you know, our email address, I guess, because we're making an account with them. And that's fine. So let's go do that. Okay, so go to your email and click to confirm your email address and set things up. Now it's just asking to, you know, get started here to finish things up. We need to enter our password. So let's uh, just suggest a password. Okay, set password and continue. Great. And now it's going to ask you a couple of questions here. It says, let's get to know you better. Um, you can just skip it. Okay, here's the good part. So at the top here, it says your kits. And of course, it's telling you how to use and, and all kinds of stuff. It's giving you an example here. And, um, and you could get into some sizing, coloring, rotating, stacking, all this stuff. But really, all we need is this line right here at the top. So it's, it, it starts with script and ends with script. You can hit copy here or grab it with your cursor, whatever works. And we're, we again, we just we just want this here. And then we go back to our Divi website. Okay, so in our dashboard, we need to go to theme options in Divi. So go to the Divi theme options and go to the integrations tab. And that's where you're gonna have all where we put custom code. Um, you know, make sure that these these toggles are all on. And here, where it says "Add Code to the Head of Your Blog," we're gonna put our Font Awesome code right there. Great. Now we can save changes, and that's it. Now, when we get to some of our other tutorials, or anytime you want to add Font Awesome icons, your website's gonna be ready to go. All right. So that's how you add Font Awesome to Divi. So, like I was saying at the beginning, this is kind of laying the groundwork for some future tutorials. And one of those, I'm going to give you a little tease here. One of those is how to add like almost 30 different social media icons to the Divi social media module. All right, so be on the lookout for that one. And it may reference back to this one if you haven't already had Font Awesome integrated. But otherwise, it's going to be really awesome because a lot of people are asking for that. So I'm excited. So this is, you know, the start of maybe a series or something like that. Let me know what you would like to see in a series on Font Awesome. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.